Right everyone, I've managed to get the Sony to come on. This is this bridle path, this little lane that I first walked down about a week ago. I'm uh, coming down it again, um, giving the Kodak a rest at the moment. I thought if I could get Sony to work, um, I'd do a little video. Some of this I did on the Kodak. I can't remember how it turned out. I don't think I've played it back yet. I'm not even sure if I've shared it yet to uh, YouTube. I might have done. But anyway, this is a, a repeat, but using Sony for this part of the, the walk. Basically, it's got full battery. It shouldn't really go off, but it is playing up. The other side of that bank there is the quarry. Bats quarry, it's called. It's an active quarry. Now, last week I came to this gate, which is just up ahead of us, and uh, I noticed there was a little path where the wild garlic, which is already fading since last week, is still out, and you can still smell it, the wild garlic. Uh, so anyway, there was these little steps. But if you go further on past the gate, there's also... Uh, a gate that leads up that way which I'll try I'll do another time I just thought I must try these little steps I think it just come out by a gate further down that's what I reckon um, so here we are. I can smell the garlic now it's faded it's amazing how it's faded in a week that means long wood has probably faded as well by now last week that was a blanket of white snow, and I've got the photos to prove it. It's faded in one week. There's the bumpy track all the way up to the top. Um, I've been out all day doing Robo Hill Fort. All the photos and videos so far have been with Kodak. I've kept... Um, I've kept this one... I've kept Sony just to do this bit. Sony's very temperamental. It takes me a few minutes to get it to work. Sometimes it won't work at all. So there's the way I went down last week. Up there is also a bit of land that I am sort of aware with. I haven't walked it, but I know it links up with the track I know further up when I'm doing another quarry over to Winscombe. So there's lots of walks around here, but this is the steps. Now, like I say, this was white. It's definitely faded. Look. I thought, well, I need to know where these go. I've left enough time for exploring today. So I can do this. But I've got no idea. But I think it would just take me down to a gate. <coughs> It's just an alternative way. Danger. Quarries are not play areas. Stay away. <coughs> a lot of pollen gets in the back of my throat, by the way. That's why I'm sucking on the sweet at the moment. Because all the pollen keeps going to the back of my throat. So this is a new track for me. Going down by the side of the other track, which is up there. Now, like I said, there, there was a gate I came across later on in the walk last week. And I reckon this comes out at that gate. It's just a matter of logistics, really. I just, I just imagine it is. <sighs> I also get Brady Kynion's products from the anti the blood pressure pills. They one of the side products is um, Brady Kynion's, and they sort of all right. It feels like dust in the back of your throat. To tell the truth. All right, so we're going. We're exploring while we can. I should imagine this would be very slippery and muddy and dodgy in the winter. So. It's probably the best time to do it now. 
and it's not too wild. All this vegetation will eventually go crazy. So if I left it for another month, six weeks, it might be very overgrown. Unless somebody comes here and clips it. It's another little pathway, isn't it? Another little pathway to explore. Now the quarry's over there on my left. So we're now moving further away from the main track, which is further up there, taking us down. I was wondering whether this side links up with the other side of the quarry, which is what I come down sometimes near a redundant quarry. There's a redundant quarry. And there are several little paths I was exploring several months ago. I didn't do them all. I wonder where they went. And it could be that this links up with them. But they might not. It might just link up with that gate at the bottom. And I just carry on down into Cheddar. So we won't know yet. I do, all I know is I don't... Look, that one's condemned, look. All I know is I don't particularly want to have to walk back up. It's going down and down into the coom now, isn't it? It could link up with the other side. There's barbed wire here. You've got to be careful you don't catch your face or your arms. Some of it's not. You can hold on. I thought it would be easier with the Sony doing this particular walk because the other camera is very bulky. It's not supposed to be used for walking. It's a still camera. And this does look like a used track to me. It's very steep, this bit. Like a jungle over there. Someone's done sort of s some sort of steps using the roots. I said I could come to a dead end, couldn't I? And then say to myself, why on earth did you do that? Well, I don't know. It's nice though, isn't it? It's like being in the jungle, isn't it? Sorry if it's a bit bumpy with the camera, folks, but I can't help it. I'm going down quite a steep bit of terrain here. And it's a little damp, so hence a little slippery. But it's very interesting. It's slippery. Oh, there's a great big stone here, look. Look at that. That's, that is very old. That must have meant something once here. There's a type of link going in that way as well. Maybe an old path in the past. Right, we're carrying on down. Just going to stop for a minute and take a picture of that stone. I'm not turning the camera off, just taking a picture. Right, back on again. I just thought I'd do some photos while I'm going along. It's rather nice. Doing a bit of exploring. I love it, you know. It's a lovely day. The big track, the main track, will be right up there somewhere. It's a lovely day. It really is. Look at these lovely, healthy ferns. Birds singing, an old wall over there, possibly an old drove going down through there. Look, could even it could even end up at what a sheep dip. I think I noticed a track coming out by the sheep dip. Don't forget, I've only ever done this once, so 
I just remember a bit of a track by a sheep dick dip. I did take a picture of the sheep dip. <sighs> it could be that that's where this comes out. Full of history, isn't it? All the unknown. As we walk these old paths and we don't know where we're going. We know we're going downhill and we know we're heading for Cheddar. A lovely scene though, isn't it? I do like using Sony. I'll tell you what, what a difference in weight. And having to stabilise. God, so much easier. So much easier. But the other one's got its benefits. Why a wider lens, a bigger zoom. It's got macro facilities. Unfortunately, it hasn't got optics. Like this one has. This will be on optic. It's a much better, much, much better um, quality, I think. Well, it's not like a field there, where the cows are once kept. <sighs> yeah, I was hoping I could get across to the other side, but I don't reckon I can, you know. I don't reckon you can. <sighs> There's a gate there, look. There's a gate there. <sighs> I tend to film video longer when it's a new track. And uh, we've got plenty of battery. We've got loads of memory. But of course people can get bored with the really big videos. I sometimes have to split them anyway. But at the moment, you know why I'm not. I can't turn Sony off. When it's low in battery, even though it ain't low, it likes to be absolutely charged. It, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't get it going again. I wouldn't get it going again. So I'm trying to get most of this done. I can split the video. This is all brand new to me. I've never done this before. And further up, much further up, I don't know where, there's the other track going down somewhere else. The only thing I wouldn't, I hope don't happen, is I end up in the field of cows. This will take me. Do you know what I mean? Well, it looks more like civilization coming into view now with a a field not too overgrown and open. And I know the quarry's over there somewhere. So it doesn't look like we're linking up with the other side, does it? But there are some gates and tracks over the other side that I've yet to explore. And there's one up there somewhere as well yet to explore but with it being the season of the cow now it's not worth the risk because a lot of them have got calves so. yeah I can't hear no quarry noise down here but this is a beautiful walk isn't it well like, as soon as I saw those little steps last week I didn't do it then because I really needed to know where the other track went. I needed to know my boundaries. So the only thing I think of with this one is it comes out by the sheep dip. That's what I reckon. Or a gate further back down. Because it is maintained. 
It's another way up without hurting your feet, I think. I think probably if I came up this way, I'd come this way. A lot of people probably don't do the stony trap. It's hard on the feet. It's ankle back breaking territory when you've got all that loose stone. This does look like an old track anyway. That would have been. Yeah, I'd definitely use this one, I think. You've still got a hike up a lot of rocky steps. <laughs> it's an alternative way up. <coughs> it's an alternative way up rather than go up the Cheddar Gorge Wood um, through Piney Slice. It's an alternative way for a change. I've been looking for other ways. I've deliberately looked for alternatives. Let me just turn off a minute. To